This lava does not burn blue because of heat. It burns blue because of the incredible amounts of sulfur ore around the area. The Dunnekill Depression is the depression of arid land which is formed because of a fault line that passes through the area. This fault line is also responsible for the volcanic activity of the area. Now coincidentally, this area is also home to a whole lot of sulfur rocks that are just laying there. Sulfur burns blue due to a chemical reaction where it forms sulfur dioxide in the presence of heat. There are many videos on YouTube showing this reaction. It's pretty amazing. These sulfur rocks found in the Dunnekill Depression, combined with the molten lava, make for an incredible experience of blue lava flowing down the arid land. Some might even say it looks like a blue lake passing through the area, although in reality, this lake is incredibly deadly and dangerous to humans. When sulfur burns, it forms sulfur dioxide, which is toxic to human beings, which requires sightseers who wish to visit the area to wear facial protection like gas masks, goggles, and general fire safety equipment. Olivier Grunewald, the photographer who is responsible for this incredible image I am showing you, had to wear significant facial protection to protect himself from the toxic gas of the sulfur dioxide. He was only able to take this photo when the wind was fortunately blowing the gas away from him. Now unfortunately for him, the sulfur gas destroyed his thousand dollar camera which he brought there. The blue lava in the Dunnekill Depression is probably one of the most beautiful things the world has to offer. However, the risks associated such as the toxic gas among other things are a deterrent to the people who wish to visit there. This may explain why the Danical Depression still has such few visitors even though it has one of the most beautiful sites in the world. A similar place to the Danical Depression known as Kawahi Jen of Indonesia also has blue lava for the exact same reasons as the Danical Depression. However, they make millions yearly due to tourists who wish to visit there. The photographer Olivier himself considers the Danical Depression a safer place to Kawahi Eugen, due to the land being flat, giving him the opportunity to drive away if the toxic gas blows towards him or if the lava gets too close. However, Kawah Eugen still manages to get much more people to visit there. Now why could this be? Well, the short answer is the people. The long answer? Politics. The Afar region where the Danakil Depression and Blue Lava lies is rife with many political issues, such as its border with Eritrea, the ongoing Ethiopian civil war, and also militia groups who wish to take over the region to enact their own supremacy. One only needs to look to Wikipedia in the Danakil Depression to see something quite strange. Sure, you see many lovely images of the sulfur rocks around the area, but after just a little bit of research, you notice something. A gun. Yes, the tour guides of this area have guns, not to protect people from animals and wildlife, because the area is a literal desert, but to protect them from other people. Olivier Grunewald took the photo of the Blue Lava Lake in the Dalol Volcano, a smaller volcano within the Dunnekill Depression. However, a considerably bigger volcano called Urta Alla is found in the area. Urta Alla is famous for having the longest lasting lava lake in history. Now, if that's not an incredible feat, I don't know what is. Why aren't people visiting there? Ah, right. Politics. Urta Ale and the Dalol Volcano in the Danakil Depression both have the potential to be some of the best sightseeing trips in the world. However, no one goes there because of the people. Let me explain why you will never visit the Danakil Depression. First and foremost is the Afar region's border with Eritrea. This border has been contested since it was invented over 20 years ago, causing Eritrean militia as well as Afar militia to constantly be in conflict with each other over land rights. This was responsible for the abductions that occurred in the early 2010s in which militia groups abducted several tourists, even including native Ethiopians. This has resulted in several kidnappings of tourists and aid workers in the area, the first of which occurred in 2007, where five European and 13 Ethiopians were kidnapped in Afar. In 2008, a second attack was attempted but foiled by Ethiopian military when a kidnapping attempt on a group of 28 French tourists occurred. Fortunately, these two attacks resulted in no deaths. However, on the 18th of January 2012, a reported five European tourists were killed in an attack in the Afar region. These tourists were visiting the Urta Ale volcano, the one with the longest lasting lava lake in history. It is contested whether or not Eritreans were the attackers in this case, or whether it was militia groups in Ethiopia. However, tensions between the two countries are still very visible, and the fact that it isn't clear who is responsible just goes to show how unstable this area is. Another reason why you'll never go there is because the Afar region is basically one big desert. Beyond its capital city, the Afar region is almost entirely home to farmers and nomads who live off what they can barely get out of the land. Some of them make an honest living digging out salts from the ground, some even dig out the sulfur ore for use in selling to other countries. 
However, due to this limit in infrastructure and modern transportation, it's very difficult to travel from the capital city to the Danikel Depression where these volcanoes reside. This is in great contrast to Kawahi Jen, which is located right next to a city allowing easy access for tourists. The third, and I would consider most visible reason why you'll never visit there, is due to the ongoing civil war in Ethiopia. The Ethio Tigray Civil War, which has been occurring since November 2020, doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon and because of that, international flight into Ethiopia is almost entirely banned. Now what's most unfortunate about this is that the Danikil Depression, home to the Dalol and Erta Ale volcanoes, has such an incredibly high potential of being one of the best sightseeing places in the world. This is proven by the existence of Kawahi Jen, which in my personal opinion is an inferior volcano to the Dalol volcano, as it only allows you to watch the lava from a great distance, and the terrain is a great inconvenience to pass by, whereas the Dalol volcano in the Danikil Depression has a very large area allowing you to get as close as you want while still remaining safe. And there's even Urta Ale, which has the world's longest lasting lava lake. The fact that millions aren't racing towards that area every year is such a great shame. And the fact that it's due to politics just further irritates me on the wasted potential of the country. All in all, I may sound pretty skeptical about this, but I don't think that you and I will ever visit the Danakil Depression. We will never see the beautiful blue lava lake, or the longest lasting lava lake in history all because of African politics.